everyone Dan here again and this is DevTube episode 3 today I'm gonna show you how to install OpenGL and use it in your Visual C++ application so OpenGL is basically open graphics library it's a cross-platform graphics library that can be used on Windows and basically any system that supports it so to start using it we need to download GLUT which is the OpenGL utility toolkit so let's go to http opengl.org slash resources slash libraries slash glut slash glut underscore downloads dot php you don't have to follow me on the url so you just get it in the show notes so i'm scrolling right to the bottom here and there is glut for microsoft windows that's what we need here, GLUT for Windows. Um, okay, I'm gonna click here. And here, we will need to download GLUT 3.7.6 bin, that's the binaries. That's what we're gonna download, I'm gonna save it. I'm gonna save it in my temporary folder, that's fine. Now, I'm gonna open it. I'm gonna extract it. Yeah, also here. Alright. I'm just gonna open it. And we see here, first of all, there is glut32.dll. We need to place it in the system folder. If you're using Windows 32-bit, uh, you will need to place it in uh, Windows uh, System 32. If you are using Windows 64 bit like I do, then you will need to place it in Windows uh, Sys Wo 64. Now, you're going to copy it and go to the system folder right here. I'm going to copy it here. So I'm using a 64 bit. Yeah, I'm going to give permission. Just on a side note, you will need administrative permissions to do all this stuff. Now, next part is we need to copy the glut.h, which is the C, C++ header file. We need to copy it to the standard Visual C++ include directory. This is um, located in, I'm just going to open a new Windows Explorer window. It's in C, uh, program files. Okay, probably in 64, uh, Microsoft is the case, okay, Windows, here, and it's going to go to include GL, I'm going to copy it, here, continue, alright, now note that this, uh, header file requires the Microsoft SDK to be installed so you will need to download the Windows SDK uh, I put the link in the show, no show notes so yeah if you don't know where to download it just look there and you'll find the link oh okay no okay. alright so the next thing we should do is we should copy the lib file the glut32.lib we need to copy it to the standard Visual C++ library directory. It's also located here, but in a okay, in lib. So let's copy it here. Yeah. Okay. Now what we need to do is we need to test it in C++. So we're gonna fire up Visual Studio. I'm going to create a new C++ application. This is a simple Windows 32 console application, so I'm just going to say OpenGL test. It's a decent name for it. Okay. Uh, it's going to be a console application, but it's going to be an empty project. Finish. Now, we're all set. 
uh, I will create a source file. C++ file, yeah. I'm just calling it GL. Okay, now I'm going to go to project and properties, configuration properties, linker, input, additional dependencies. That's where we need to reference the libraries used by OpenGL. So what we need to do is add glut32.lib glu32.lib and opengl32.lib Okay, I'll set it by here. Now, uh, we need some sample code, so I'm just gonna go to a website I have in my links. It's a university here, but I'm gonna open it. It's a sample code, so you'll just uh, see that I'm just gonna copy it and paste it. What it does is it draws a rectangle, so I'm gonna paste it in the source code. And uh, I'm gonna build the solution first the build succeeded and I'm gonna run it and there you go the first OpenGL application all the links are provided in the show notes so all the samples all the download links are there check it out and note that this tutorial is only focusing on setting the OpenGL environment up so I didn't focus on creating some complicated code to draw something it's just a sample code to show that yes it works it's just some test code uh, that's pretty much it for this episode I hope you enjoyed it uh, you can always find me on Twitter at Dennis code or you can visit my website DennisDell.com. thanks again for watching and I'll see you later